System diagrams have been developed for each of the UK's shared socioeconomic pathways, referred to as UK SSPs. The diagrams provide a graphical representation of the scenario storyline. The nodes show the socioeconomic drivers that are particularly important and uncertain for UK societal development this century, whilst the links show the rationale for the interrelationships between these drivers. This system diagram is for UK SSP2, the middle of the road scenario. In UK SSP2, healthcare becomes increasingly underfunded and struggles to meet the needs of an aging population. Pension schemes are increasingly burdened as well, and their stability becomes seriously affected. Public services reach a crisis point, which leads to their reform through public-private partnerships. The influence of public-private partnerships gradually grows and becomes a key factor in the expansion of multiple sectors such as transport and energy. In both urban and rural areas, people increasingly rely on trains and buses, and the UK moves towards lower carbon transport. Innovation drives economic development and affects the way that people work. An increasing proportion of work is done online and remotely. This brings a number of new legal challenges and is counteracted by adopting new legislation to protect people's working rights. However, what we see in UK SSP2 is that the benefits of economic growth are not distributed equally, which affects people's access to education and healthcare. Although a universal basic income is introduced to mitigate inequalities, these inequalities keep steadily rising. Economic development leads to further population growth. Even in an internet-driven society, there are still benefits to co-location and jobs cluster in cities. People increasingly move to cities, causing greater urbanisation, as well as the need for urban planning. Economic and population growth puts an increasing pressure on the environment. This results in a series of shocks, such as crop disease, large-scale floods, as well as other types of disasters, affecting both the environment and human health. The need to address these challenges leads to a strong policy response. Policymakers realise that long-term economic growth is impossible without decreasing pressures on natural resources. As a result, new policies focus on strict land use and urban planning, as well as the introduction of payments for ecosystem services schemes. However, the effect is mixed and biodiversity continues to decline. Another way that challenges related to natural resources are addressed is through technological development, funded by the public-private partnerships. Technological development focuses primarily on agricultural technology to meet the needs of the growing population and leads to large-scale implementation of vertical agriculture in the growing cities. Plant-based diets become more popular due to the policy changes promoting sustainable agriculture, increasing meat prices and awareness of health considerations. Regional food banding becomes a leading principle. The full systems diagram provides an overview of the scenario storyline, highlighting the main interrelationships between socioeconomic drivers within UK SSP2. Those links shown in blue are particularly important in, in the development of the scenario. The diagrams can be used alongside the more detailed scenario narratives by UK research and policy communities for exploring future climate change risk and resilience.